Something about the undersea environment intrigues us. It can be our curiosity and fascination about what more might be below the water's surface, or the notion that huge cities might be buried beneath the ocean's surface, out of sight and out of reach. Fortunately, submerged discoveries are only sometimes out of reach, and every year more remarkable discoveries are uncovered owing to improving technologies in the discipline of marine archaeology. In today's video, we'll show you some fascinating underwater discoveries that will blow your mind. Stay tuned, because this one will be really intriguing. Number 1. Missing Teenagers Jeremy Bo Sides, a YouTuber who utilizes underwater equipment to attempt to solve missing people cases on his channel Exploring with Nug, learned about the issue and decided to drive to Tennessee to see what he might uncover. On November 30th, 2021, he searched the Sparta, Tennessee region, where two youths, Aaron Foster, 18, and Jeremy Betchel, 17, were last seen. After leaving the Foster family home on April 3rd, 2000, she disappeared. Sides and his crew discovered the Fosters' rusting Pontiac at the bottom of Grand Dam River. Sheriff Steve Page and other detectives responded to the site after this automobile was found with human remains inside. Drivers had scoured the river for the two youngsters but had not seen the car. However, this terrible cold case has been solved thanks to Jeremy's efforts. Number 2. 2,000-Year-Old Intact Roman Medicinal Pill in June 2013, a group of Italian scientists conducted a chemical analysis of some ancient Roman medicinal pills discovered in the Relito del Pozzino. This 2,000-year-old submerged shipping vessel sank off the coast of Tuscany. The results of the analysis revealed what exactly the ancient Romans used as medicine at the time. When the Roman ship sank, it was close to the ruins of the Etruscan city of Poplonia. At the time of the disaster, Poplonia was an essential port along maritime trade lines across the Mediterranean Sea, between the western and eastern parts of the region. The Archaeological Superintendency of Tuscany conducted excavations at the Relito del Pozzino throughout the 1980s and 1990s, uncovering a variety of fascinating cargo, including the remains of a medicine chest containing a surgery hook, a mortar, 136 wooden drug vials, and several cylindrical tin vessels. One of them had five spherical medical pills. As a result of the tin containers having stayed entirely sealed throughout, the tablets have been preserved in a dry environment, which provided an incredible chance to determine precisely what compounds were housed inside them. The findings indicated that the tablets included a variety of zinc compounds, iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, and other plant-derived components. Researchers have hypothesized that the pills formally functioned as some eye medication due to their shape and the features that made them up. Number 3. Lake Michigan Stonehenge The Stonehenge-style construction was recently uncovered near Lake Michigan. Structures compared to Stonehenge are numerous, particularly in the United Kingdom, so it was surprising to discover that something similar was even closer to home, and underwater no less. Mark Hawley, professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan University, identified the site in 2007. The archaeologist was recruited to explore the lake bottom near Traverse City, using sonar to study historic boat wrecks. They discovered automobiles, boats, and a Civil War era pier, but the underwater construction was even more astonishing. The stones are arranged in a circle 40 feet below the surface of Lake Michigan and are thought to be at least 10,000 years old. One stone in the outer process seems to bear a sculpture of a mastodon, an elephant-like species that became extinct about 10,000 years ago. The obvious issue is how the stones ended beneath one of the world's most incredible lakes. The only answer they could come up with was that the building was built by locals during the last ice age when the lake bottom was dry. The issue is that many professionals want to view the construction to establish its authenticity. However, most experts still need to dive, so they have a dilemma. Many wonder whether the rocks were deliberately put or happened by chance. Number 4. A Royal Tomb This little pool of murky brown water contains the entrance to an intriguing tomb hidden under its surface. The tomb is over 2,300 years old and belonged to Pharaoh Nastasin, King of Kush, from 335 to 310 BC. This tomb is one of several Nuri that will be excavated using underwater archaeological techniques. During his reign, the stars repulsed an assault by an upper Egyptian pharaoh, Kambasutin. Archaeologists discovered a lengthy antique stairway that went downhill to this tomb that had been untouched and undiscovered for thousands of years. However, to reach the tomb's entrance, the archaeologists had to don diving gear and investigate the murky groundwater collected in the tomb over the years. The drowned ancient tomb has been the centerpiece of countless underwater archaeological shows, 
but no one has yet been able to access it. Maybe someday archaeologists and historians will find out how to reach the tomb, and then we'll understand why treasures are stashed away in this weird, inaccessible area. Number 5. Elongated Skulls Found in Maya Underwater Cave In January 2014, a flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico that disturbs local inhabitants were studied by underwater archaeologists who revealed this submerged cavern to be filled with elongated skulls and human bones. The sinkhole is known to have been used as a burial ground. The underwater cavern that is known as SACUIM is a cenote that can be found in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. A cenote is a natural hole that forms when limestone bedrock breaks apart and exposes the groundwater underneath it. They were sometimes presented as sacrifices to various gods by ancient Maya civilization. According to local tradition, the unfathomable cavern is said to be protected by a horse-headed snake with feathers. The more experienced residents of the adjoining community of Telchiquillo recount tales of persons who saw the snake coiled up in a tree, jumping up, turning around three times, and finally sinking into the ocean. Archaeologists learned on the first day of diving that there might be a severe reason why the locals in the hamlet are afraid of the location. It would seem that some dreadful event happened there, and it's possible that knowledge of this event was handed down through the generations, contributing to the formation of myths and tales. More than a dozen skeletal remains of humans were discovered by the crew. Because there's no signs of the skeletons that may point to a cause of death, likely the individuals in question were not sacrificed. The researchers believe that the elongated skulls were purposefully flattened during infancy, a technique which archaeologists are now searching for explanations. Number 6. Oldest Computer in Human History As it turns out, the brilliant gadget known as the computer, on which our lives now rely, is not a recent creation. When we tell you that a computer was discovered underwater, your initial impression is that it was thrown in there. However, the computer in question is hundreds of years old and was found by sponge divers some 120 years ago off the Greek island of Antikythera. This relic was salvaged from a shipwreck in the 1900s when the remnants of this centuries-old Roman cargo ship was discovered 45 meters off of Point Clifordia. Scientists have reconstructed the 2,000-year-old contraption known as the world's oldest computer to understand better how it works. Since it was discovered in 1901 on a Roman-era shipwreck in Greece, the Antikythera mechanism has perplexed researchers. The hand-powered ancient Greek instrument was likely used to forecast eclipses and other celestial occurrences. However, only one-third of the gadget remained, allowing experts to speculate on how it operated and what it looked like. Previous research has solved the mechanism's rear end, but the structure of its intricate gearing system at the front has remained a mystery. University College London UCL scientists think they have solved the riddle using 3D computer modeling. They have rebuilt the complete front panel and intend to produce a full-scale copy of the Antikythera using contemporary materials shortly. The device has been called the first analog computer in history and an astronomical calculator, and it's composed of bronze and has a plethora of gears. Number 7. The Bimini Road The Bimini Road, also renowned as Bimini's Wall, is currently a famous tourist attraction on the Bahamas' North Bimini Island. It's an underwater rock structure that resembles an old road. The 0.8-kilometer-long feature is made up of roughly rectangular to sub-rectangular shaped limestone blocks, was discovered by Joseph Manson Valentine, Jacques Mayol, and Robert Angove in September of 1968. There has been much conjecture about the origins of this unique underwater road, with many believing it was part of a wall. This concrete pavement was discovered to create a northeast-southwest linear feature. Many archaeologists, anthropologists, marine engineers, divers, and even tourists have traveled this path. Scientists investigating the road's shells and cement believe it's roughly 3,500 years old. According to the research, these blocks were most likely formed by natural geological processes. Some conspiracy theorists believe this road or wall was built by humans and is linked to the mythical underwater metropolis of Atlantis. It is thought that Bimini Road was created by Chinese Admiral Zhang He Fleet when they were stuck in a cyclone near Bimini. Experts have determined, however, that the Bimini blocks are made of natural beach rock and were most likely created by years of erosion. Number 8. SS Gersopa On February 16, 1941, a German Falk Wolf FW200 sighted and circled this British steam commercial ship named after the Indian town of Gersopa. By night, the German U-boat U-101 followed it, commanded by Ernst Mengerson. On the same night, the ship was jolted by an explosion caused by a torpedo hit on the starboard side. She and the seven men on board plunged to their deaths over 15,000 feet below the ocean surface. The wreck of the Garisopa was located, and an expedition to retrieve the silver bullion cargo it was carrying was announced in 2011. 
The 200 tons of submerged silver are believed to be worth roughly 150 million pounds. The Odyssey Marine Exploration Company of Tampa, Florida stated in July 2018 that they had collected more than 110 tons of silver from the debris. Odyssey Marine discovered the ship's wreck at a depth of 4,700 meters off the coast of Ireland. By July 2013, the business had recovered just 61 tons of silver bullion. And with this, we've come to the end of this video. Share your thoughts in the comments section and please leave a like, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification for more content like this.